Bring it, bring it. Keep it. This is requiring so much more mental strength than I expected. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel Sky Life. In this video, I'm going to be trying biohacking for 30 days. And if you follow health trends, you might have heard of biohacking before, and if you haven't, don't worry, we're gonna talk all about it and the science behind it. I'm here at Bulletproof Labs in Santa Monica. You might have heard of Bulletproof Coffee, which is really popular, but they also have this incredible facility that's like the gym of the future with amazing technology here to optimize human performance, both mind and body. I'm super excited. I've been wanting to do this video for a really long time. Let's get right into it. What exactly is biohacking? Biohacking is just a term that we use. It means you're hacking your biology. So here at labs, we have pieces of equipment to to, uh, enhance your physical and cognitive performance. What are some of the things that you're doing with people here at Bulletproof? We have anything from machines that increase your anabolic hormones, which are super crucial to your body. Uh, we have things to increase your VO2 max, the maximum amount of oxygen that your body can utilize, which is super important to your cell health. And then also we have something that's building bone density, building muscles, your week's worth workout in 20 minutes. So you can get a week's worth of workout in 20 minutes, you're saying? That's correct, yeah. How? So in a gym setting with free weights or machines, you can only move as much weight that you can move concentrically, which is when the muscle's contracting. So with our machine over here, we are constantly adjusting to the eccentric as well, which is where you're much stronger. So when you are getting the maximum stimulus on both parts of the movement, your muscles are fried within six to eight reps. So basically you're just being super efficient with how you're working people out here. Exactly. So our machines are as efficient as they can be in the least amount of time possible. I am all about efficiency and time efficiency. I'm always trying to increase my productivity. What are some cognitive hacks that you use here? So we have neurofeedback, which is a device where you're hooking up wires to your, uh, your scalp and on your ears. I just did a video about neurofeedback. So watch that video if you haven't seen it yet. It's really interesting. So what else are you doing for cognitive enhancement? We also have a meditation chamber. The pod is stimulating all your senses to induce theta state, which is super crucial for just staying level-headed and focused and calm. The orange spaceship, yeah. what is that? So that is our atmospheric cell trainer. That is changing the air density while you're inside. It's constantly fluctuating through thousands of feet, which is very stressful on all the cells in your body. So when you put the cells through stress, they adapt to that stress by becoming stronger. So if you increase your cellular strength, their integrity, all their functions are optimized. So everything from nutrient intake, oxygen absorption, oxygen distribution, hormonal distribution, you're just building the foundation of your cell health through changes in air density. I've done a lot of videos recently for cognitive enhancement. Mm -hmm. I've done medicinal mushrooms. I've done the neurofeedback that we talked about. I've tried alpha brain. Okay. So I do want to explore the cognitive biohacking a little bit, but I more so want to focus on a physical transformation sure. and see if I can get a lot leaner, see if I can increase my muscle mass a little bit. That's kind of my goal for this. I'm super excited to get started, so what's next? We're gonna do your body composition, uh, but first I'm gonna give you these. These are our True Darks. A present? Yeah. Oh so these gosh. are meant to block uh, the harmful spectrums of blue light that a lot of fluorescents and LEDs give off, as well as like laptops and technology. We all know technology is not the best for us. So the wow. yellows there, those block out uh, about half the blue light. That's what comes from like indoor light like this, your computer screens, anything like that. How did these look? A little geeky, <laughs> but it's okay. I'm Any okay with looking geeky. I'm already a nerd anyway, so whatever. So I have these for during the day. And mm -hmm. then what are those? These are the red ones. So these are the ones that are gonna be most important for your goals specifically. These are meant to improve sleep. So you go ahead and put those on. So those block out all the spectrums of blue light, which oh can kind of trick your brain to thinking it's daytime. So it's to improve your sweet, or sleep quality. I really need these, because yeah, I'm on technology so much, way more than I want to be, because mm -hmm. of the editing I do, and like everything sure. I do is in media pretty much. So I'm curious to see if they actually work. Do you use yeah, them? They definitely do. Those ones will put you to sleep within 30 minutes. Yeah. The easiest biohack that anybody could, could start with. Ah, yeah. amazing. OK, thanks. So now let's go do my body intake. Yeah, I'm really nervous, but let's do it. What are we measuring right now? So it's sending electrical signals through your hands and feet. It's measuring your body through water, which is conductive. Uh, so it's gonna measure everything from the muscle in your skeleton, the extracellular water, which is uh, like any bodily fluids or inflammation, how much of your weight is bone and mineral, and then also, of course, your body fat mass, visceral fat, how many calories you burn at rest, and as well as your cell health. This is like everything about my body in one report. So we're really gonna find out the truth. I'm so nervous to see these results. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. So first, your total body weight is 120.6 pounds. 73 pounds of that is water. 55.3 
of those pounds is all muscle, which is perfect. You're actually in the higher range and your body fat mass is actually on the lower side of average. Body Yay. fat percentage is only 17. The uh, average ratio is anywhere from 18 to 28 for women. Another important one is your basal metabolic rate, which is how many calories you're burning at rest, which is around 1350. So that's how many calories you're burning at rest. And then your phase angle, which is super important to weight loss and muscle gain, it's your cell integrity. That's how healthy your cells are. So if your cells are unhealthy, they're gonna have a much harder time trying to burn body fat, build muscle, distribute hormones, intake nutrients, all that kind of stuff. So yours is a 6.4, average for women is four to six. So you are 0.4 over the average range for women. Is that bad? No, it's super important. The higher, the better. Oh, the so higher, the better. So this is gonna make better. it easier to burn fat and build muscle or whatever your physical goals are. So this is actually very high. It's one of the highest I've ever seen in women. With where I'm at now, what improvements are we trying to make? With your goals specifically, we're gonna focus on bringing down the body fat percentage and the body fat mass, of course. What we wanna do is maintain the muscle mass you already have. Knowing all this information now, let's go and see what I'm gonna be doing for yeah. the next 30 days. Let's get into the, the biohacking yeah. technology. So this is the foundation of your training routine you're gonna have here. This is what's gonna bring up and balance your body's anabolic hormones, which is super important when it comes to burning body fat and maintaining or building muscle, which is our goal here. You're gonna feel that 47 degree water oh rush in. What? <laughs> it's cold. It's freezing, yep. So the cold is to make the blood leave the muscle and go to the skin to keep the skin warm. So with that, as we build up lactic acid, which is the burning feeling you're gonna get in the muscles as we're working out, when there's less blood flow, the lactic acid will get trapped along with this compression. So we're building up lactic acid in a super high quantity and then releasing it all at once, which is tricking the brain to think it's been through hours of stress when it's only been through 20 minutes. Burning. Whoa, yeah. Doing it right. Wow, the cold adds a whole other element. So this is our cheap machine. Cheap machine, I'm great, I'm looking for a cheat. It's probably the hardest one you're gonna do. Oh, what? So this That's is- so misleading. This is cheating all the reps it's gonna take to get to exhaustion in a normal gym. This is always calibrating to give you that maximum tension. So whatever you give out, hopefully it's 100%. That's how much you're gonna resist, uh, receive in resistance on the way back. So you can see here, your average push back out is 50 pounds, but your resistance when it's pulling you back is 113. So you can see how much stronger you are in this part of the movement versus when you're pushing it out. So this is our oxygen trainer. That's that high intensity cardio that we're gonna look for. In this bag is about four to five times more oxygen than we receive out here at the altitude we currently are at. And then we have a switch right here to change it to be a fifth of what we get out here. So as we're training in a hyperoxic state, which is with extra oxygen, you're gonna cause your blood to fill up with as much oxygen as it can handle, and then we're gonna desaturate you. And we keep track of that right here. These pulse oximeters just rest on your fingertip. They tell us how much oxygen is in your cells. So we're gonna exhaust you, we're gonna increase the heart rate, increase the demand for that oxygen when you're in a hypoxic state, and then we flood you with oxygen, you're increasing your VO2 max, your cardiovascular and muscular endurance. All right, so this is our PEMF machine, which stands for Pulse Electromagnetic Frequencies. So this is mimicking the Earth's grounding effect that it has on the human body. The Earth's grounding Earth's effect? Earth's grounding effect, yep. So oh. all your cells hold an electromagnetic charge. That's what they need. It's like their battery source. That's what they need to function, do their job. You see a dramatic increase in uh, hormonal distribution, which is super important in our case with all the other training that we're doing oxygen intake, uh, nutrient absorption, um, stem cell production, all of this. We're gonna slowly turn this up. We're oh my gosh, I feel my muscles twitching. Yep, we're jump, we're jump starting all your cells here. <laughs> this is gonna speed up recovery. Oh my gosh, I feel my heart beating. I feel my tailbone twitching. So we're sending these frequencies in and the cells that have lesser voltage are more receptive. So after all the hard work we just did on the cheat machine, you, your muscles are inflamed, which is why they're twitching so much. So they're being jump started. All right, so this is cryotherapy. We're gonna cool you down to about negative 220 degrees. It's huge for recovery, super popular amongst athletes. How long do I go in here for? Three minutes. We're gonna cause all the blood to rush to your organs. So that's gonna increase your metabolism. It's going to decrease inflammation and it's gonna kickstart that recovery process so your sleep will be much deeper. And that's when those hormones are gonna be distributed to help your body heal. And it's gonna alleviate any muscle soreness or chronic pain. It's not as bad <laughs> Just as wait. a full on ice bath. It'll creep up. Oh, it's gonna get worse? Yep. Okay, now it's, now it's getting colder. <laughs> Woo! Go ahead and jump out. Oh my God. <laughs> Can you feel your legs? That's so cool. So cool. This looks like a tanning bed, but it's a tanning bed that's good for your skin. Definitely different than a tanning bed. Instead <laughs> of UV, it's actually red and infrared light, which is super good for that collagen and elastin production. That's what you want. It's gonna uh, rejuvenate the skin. Also decreases inflammation and jump starts all your mitochondria production. First day of biohacking, how do you feel? 
I'm so excited for all of this. I'm really curious to see if I'll actually get results from it. Yeah, so it's important, <laughs> keep up on your diet, keep the sugar low, healthy fats, lots of greens, keep doing what you're doing with your boxing and your normal routine. All this is just gonna enhance what you're already doing. If I do all that right, we add this stuff in, then you're gonna get your six pack. I'll yep. get a six pack? There you go. For the next month, I would continue everything I was already doing, which was kickboxing three times per week, yoga three to four times per week, and super clean eating with minimal sugar intake. I would be training at the labs three times per week, which would include two days of more intense training and one day of full recovery. I was curious to see what would happen by just adding three days of biohacking per week to my normal routine. I've got my biohacking blue light blocking glasses on. I'm about to go into Bulletproof Labs for my first official session. Training with Brandon today. <laughs> what are we doing? Three really intense things. The cheat machine, the oxygen trainer, and finishing out with the cold cardio. If I remember correctly, those were all the really hard ones. <laughs> <laughs> grind it out, grind it out, grind it out. Last one, Sky. Finish, finish, finish. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Let's go, let's go, let's go, and relax. Uh, this is called the cheat machine. This is called the cheat machine. <laughs> no cheat. <laughs> so you can see Sky did one, two, three, four, five, six reps total, but I bet she's feeling like she did about six hours of working out. A hundred freaking chest presses. <laughs> During my first training session, I quickly realized how much harder this was going to be than I thought. We're super slow. Wow, good job. Good job. Oh my God. What the <laughs> hell? Holy shit. My arms feel like complete jello. This biohacking thing I thought was going to be a little bit of a walk in the park because it's a hack but it is the furthest thing from that. This is requiring so much more mental strength than I expected. So at training tonight, we talked about sleep and how important that is going to be for the next month. Sleep is something I struggle with, not falling asleep. I can always fall asleep anywhere, anytime, but getting enough hours. But I know for this, it's gonna be really important for my recovery and my results. That could very well be what makes or breaks the results coming through in the best way they can. So I have on my biohacking nighttime goggles. I'm supposed to wear these ones an hour before bed and everything looks red. It feels like I'm in a weird horror film. All right, it's time for bed, 1021. I can't remember the last time I went to bed this early, but I'm really gonna try and make this work because I want the best results possible. And if going to bed earlier is gonna make that happen, then I have gotta do what I gotta do. My arms are so sore. I really don't understand how that's possible with only doing those few reps of every exercise, but I can tell you it's very possible. This is Taylor. He's my trainer today. Hello. What are we doing for uh, my recovery? A full body PEMF. We've got red charger after that. And then I think we have a cryotherapy. I'm still sore from Thursday, so I'm very excited. This is gonna be a lot more relaxed, I think. Right? Yes. This very is relaxing. chill. Biohacking is chill day. <laughs> I'm getting used to these goggles. I feel it. Oh, yes. No pain? No pain, it just feels like my stomach's pulsing. So it's supposed to be helping with you know areas where your body needs the most assistance. Okay. Uh, so it's gonna hit areas of inflammation first. Clearly I have a lot of inflammation right in this area, I guess. Negative 247. Oh, okay. I gotta stay with my breath here. Ah! Is everybody that comes and does this as dramatic as me? You're definitely top 10. I feel like an icicle, <laughs> popsicle. I have my training tomorrow morning and I've been shooting a video and I'm just finally putting away all of the equipment. <sighs> Sometimes the only time I have to shoot a video is at midnight. I am trying to be better about getting sleep, but it's really hard. I have two jobs and I, I'm trying to make this channel happen. I really love making these videos and it means a lot to me to stay consistent with it and get a video every week. I really want these results to be awesome 
and I'm really concerned that I'm self-sabotaging by not getting enough rest. I'm going in for my session and I have to do the cheat machine today and I'm really tired because I got two to three hours of sleep last night. So this is not gonna be good. So because I'm running really slow on sleep, instead of doing my intense workout today, we swapped it to Sunday. So today I'm doing recovery. I just did the red charger and I'm feeling so much better. I love that here they know how much recovery is important and how much sleep is important. And that, you know, I told them I was running low on sleep. So they said, you know, we don't wanna push you hard then because that will be a negative effect and we're gonna go in a different direction and you make sure you get rested for your next session. So they're really good about working with your body and your circumstances. I thought we were doing the cheat machine today and then I found out we're not and we're just doing the oxygen trainer. It's the best news ever. The oxygen machine was the biggest mental challenge and it forced me to focus on my breath. If anybody has trouble meditating or connecting to your breath, I'd say get on an oxygen trainer for a few minutes because you are forced to focus on your breath. And I gained a lot of mental clarity from that practice. You know, when people say exercising gives them more energy, that's usually the case, except for right now when I literally feel like I could sleep for three full days. I'm so dead. Pull, 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 pull. Two more. Uh. Two more. <laughs> During my last week of training, I really went for it and put forth all of my effort in the hopes of getting the best results possible at the end of the month. Bring it, bring it. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Making progress. Sky increased literally on almost every single exercise, increasing 12.2% on her average force on the chest press, right? Up in her maximum rep effort, up 20% in the overhead press for the shoulder, which is crazy. And belt squat absolutely crushed it, up 4.5% in her progress. I think the abs are starting to come in a little bit, which is so weird because we haven't done any ab exercises this whole month of training, but they're looking pretty strong. Something's working. I honestly thought the infrared charger was just complete bullshit. I was like, this is just red light. This is stupid. This, how can this actually like help my skin? My skin has never looked better. My skin is actually tighter. And I don't understand how that's possible from just these red lights. Here we are back at Bulletproof Labs after one month of biohacking. And I feel so good. I have never felt this strong since probably when I was playing soccer all the time in high school. I feel like my arms are a lot stronger. I'm able to do push-ups and burpees better than I ever have been able to. I am so grateful to have had this experience here because this truly is a one-of-a-kind facility. I just feel really lucky to have had this experience to work here with these amazing trainers. Everybody's so nice and so motivating and really pushed me to be my best self in my workouts. It's a big mental challenge doing this stuff because although the workouts are shorter and more efficient, they're really, really intense and I really had to dig deep into my power. I'm about to meet with Bruce, who is a trainer that I worked with a lot this month and he's gonna go over my final results with me. I'm really nervous, but really excited to see what the body intake machine says. Deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bruce, what are the numbers? We do see that there are improvements. Okay. So we did go in the right direction. You went from 120 where you started to uh, 119. 119. Oh. Okay, so, so I lost weight. But you did gain muscle. Skeletal muscle mass overall, you were 55.3 and you've gone up to 56.7. So you did increase your muscle mass. You went from 17.1 in your body fat percentage to 15.1. Oh my gosh, what the heck? <laughs> this is crazy. I just want to thank you so much for oh, this opportunity because I learned so much and I loved working with you and everyone here at the labs. You and guys we, are the best. And we love working with you. Too. Oh, I mean, you, you went for it. You definitely I went really for it. like every, was trying to dig deep. <laughs> I, I have to say, every time that you were in here working out, you left it all on the floor. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> Woo! I'm so happy that we saw good results. I can't believe I I lost body fat and lost weight, and 
gained muscle, and all the numbers were awesome across the board. It's not necessarily about the physical results, but it's really cool to see that this stuff actually works and that the hard work you put in actually has made a difference. All right, that's it for this episode of Sky Life. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment any ideas you have for other types of crazy workouts you wanna see me try, crazy health and lifestyle trends. Definitely check out Bulletproof Labs. I'll put a link in the description. This is where we're headed with human performance and optimization. I'm so excited about it. I will see you next week. Bye.